OpenAI just released a brand new feature that's gonna help everyone become a prompt engineer. And no, I'm not exaggerating. It's a small feature that's being released very subtly right now, but I can see how over the next three to five months, this is gonna develop to let everyone have no barrier to entry to write perfect prompts. They just created this skill set by essentially letting anyone do what's called meta prompting. I'm gonna show you how you can access these new features pretty much for free in the OpenAI Playground. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Mark, and I run my own AI automation agency called Prompt Advisors for the past two years. We help companies in all industries better use AI in their workflows where it works best. And if you've watched my channel before, you'll know that I'm more renowned for meta prompting, which is basically getting an AI to prompt itself. And this new feature lets you shortcut my method that I came up just a few months ago. Let's dive right in and check it out. All right, so when you log into platform.openai.com, and you have to go specifically to this site, not ChatGPT, you're going to see some screen like this with a sidebar. And what you want to do is you want to navigate to Playground. And once you click on Playground, all right, so if we go towards the icon and click down, it will say describe what you're using the model for and will generate custom instructions. And it says here it's in free beta, which gives me the idea that eventually it might be a paid service potentially to write the perfect prompt. Regardless, for now it's free, so let's take advantage of it. I want to create a presentation about solar panels and their benefits. So if I click something like this and I click create, the idea is it's basically saying behind the scenes, you are a prompt engineer, come up with a prompt that accomplishes X task. And in under 10 seconds, it's created a prompt that says create a presentation detailing the benefits of solar panels. And you can see here, Interestingly, but not surprisingly, it's generating the actual prompt in Markdown using these asterisks to denote bolding, which if you're not familiar, these like single asterisks, these hashtags are all different proxies for hierarchy. So if you put hashtag steps, it actually represents a big heading in let's say Microsoft Word or Google Doc. And the same thing with the bolding, it's basically telling the LM, hey, this is important. This is some form of subcategory that I need you to pay attention to. And as you go down, you're gonna see that there's an output format with an example that has provided itself on what the end result should look like. Now, if you look at this and you say, you know what? I want my slides to have three bullet points. I don't want them to have any periods. I don't want to repeat the word solar panels over and over again. These are the subtle changes that will let you become a prompt engineer. The idea is, is that this is going to do 80% of the work for you. And all you have to do is finish that 20% off that makes it specific and perfect for your use case. Now, if we go to another tab and ask it for another example of something, and let's say I want to create a newsletter generator. I want you to ask me what to write about in a variable. And then when I give that to you, you use that to draft a newsletter. So awful spelling, but let's give that a go. And you'll see here it says create a newsletter by asking for a specific topic and then drafting newsletter based on that topic. So a bit of a circular sentence. Now I'm going to go down and see if there's anywhere they left for us to enter a variable. And it doesn't look like there is off the cuff. And that might be because this is made for system instructions. The difference between a system instruction and a user instruction is system instructions tells GPT, this is how you should function throughout the course of the conversation. Whereas a user prompt, which is what probably you enter into ChatGPT or Claude or whatever, um, is where you're actually instructing it to do the thing. So in a way, I'm using this tool to help you generate the prompts you most likely will use as a user prompt rather than a system prompt. But technically, you can do both. Now, I'll show you a little technique shortly on how maybe you can take this 80% and then get to 100% using ChatGPT. But let's try another use case and see what you can do also with the assistance tab. All right, so for this one, if we wanted to go and say, I want you to create me a content generator, I give you one piece of content and then you turn it into all social media posts. So I'll click on create here and we'll see what it does. All right, so it'll say create a content generator system that takes one piece of content as input and transform it into multiple social media posts tailored for various platforms. And then it's going through the steps here, 
analyze the provided content to understand its key themes, messages, and purpose. Uh, for each social media platform adapted by adjusting the length and syntax to fit the platform requirements. Um, so it's even mindful of Twitter's character limit. Now it's still calling it Twitter, so you can tell this is from last year's training. It doesn't know it's X now, um, etc. And if you go down, it's now outputting in JSON, which is interesting. So maybe I might want to edit this so that it says plain text or something that's not JSON. So the idea is if I write, you know, my post of the day, Wow, OpenAI just made everyone a prompt engineer and we click run. Then you'll see here it's creating a tweet, an Instagram post, a Facebook post and LinkedIn just based on my input. So because of that system instruction, in a way it kind of acted like a user input um, that it kind of set the tone for when I put my post it goes and takes that post and creates multiple posts out of it. So you can see how this becomes very potent over time as you test different use cases. Now with that said, let's try one more just to see how it works and say, I heard you have new competition on the block called Notebook LM. Don't worry, you haven't heard about this tool yet. I want you to create a prompt that will take an idea, then create a podcast script from it, and ideally simulate how a back and forth conversation might look like. So I'm gonna click on this. And this is a bit trickier, so I don't expect it to do that well, to be honest, but we'll see. So create a podcast script from a given idea, simulating a back and forth conversation, yada, yada, yada. So my input is gonna be an idea here, and that's the variable that we're gonna set. Um, and then let's give it a shot. Let's say idea, how prompt engineering might disappear as a core skill set. If I click on run. All right, so in this case, it comes up with the title, the future of AI is prompt engineering becoming obsolete pretty decent hook. And then it goes through a back and forth conversation between a made up person named Emily and the an expert called Alex. So you'll see back and forth this conversation. Now, ideally, I would have wanted to come up with a core script and then simulate that script, but it kind of went straight to simulating that script. So I want to see what happens if we give it some feedback. Um, can you tweak your underlying prompt so that it generates a core script and then a simulation of how that script would play out. What I want to see here is does it have access to the original system prompt after you've actually set it? All right. And it doesn't seem like it has access to the original system prompt to go and change that. It will just literally just take the feedback and like ChatGPT, it will edit its last output based on your feedback. So that's probably a feature they're gonna bring later on, which is ideally a feedback loop where you don't just generate it once, you can actually go back and forth with it until you're happy with it. Now, if you've watched this channel before, then you would have seen my original meta prompting video I came up with a few months ago, where I basically show you how to write a very basic prompt that lets you generate and edit prompts. And in this case, because this takes you to 80% of the solution, we can copy this system prompt, go into ChatGPT and say, you are a prompt engineer, you write very detailed prompts and output them in a code block in Markdown. Here is a prompt I'd like you to edit. Here are the changes I'd like you to make. One, make a general idea script for the podcast first then simulate a sample back and forth with said script. So then I'll say, here's the prompt. All right, and you'll see here, it's generating a version of that system prompt that is saying introduction of the topic, discuss the growing need, etc. So an overview of that topic, and then sample back and forth simulation. So you, this can help you get to that last 20% where maybe the first button of generate didn't help you get there. And now the cool thing is because we started this chat, we could technically go back to any one of our other chats for this one, let's say the newsletter generator. And then we could say, cool, edit this one. 
and make it write in three random languages as an output. Right, so I'll paste the newsletter prompt there and we should get something that says, hey, write in this language and let's say here, randomly select three languages out of a predetermined pool of languages and then output to ensure the newsletter is translated and presented in multiple languages. So this can help you really dial in. And in this case, I think it's choosing English, Spanish, and then drum roll for the last one, French version. So it went with an easier version here, but just to show you, you can take that general prompt you've created and quickly make it perfect. Now, one last magic trick is we'll go into the assistance playground, which is exactly uh, right below the chat. So if you go back to the playground and you go back to your general docs, then you'll be able to click on playground and then click on assistance. And then you'll see something like this where you have a blank screen and you'll see this button once again. So if we go to a fresh new tab and we call this negotiation expert, then in the system prompt, this can help you now create an agentic prompt, which means creating a prompt that will allow an agent to go back and forth with you more so in a conversational manner. So in this case, I will say, I want to create an agent that helps me with my negotiation skills. It'll ask me what we're negotiating about and then try and go and back. Wow, I'll say it again. Go back and forth with me. Um, it will always let me win. Otherwise, I'll be super sad but it has to let me win eventually. So I'll click create here and we'll see what we get. All right, so in this case, it has a bit of a flaw. It'll say create an agent that simulates a negotiation scenario. So this tells me that maybe the way I'm talking to it is incorrect. Instead of saying what it should do, which is to create an agent, I should maybe go back and just for the sake of making this simple, let's refresh the screen just in case it's cached for whatever reason. Yeah, it looks like it's cached. So I'm going to say, I want a negotiation coach. And let me click on create here. And maybe it won't say create a negotiation coach. It'll just say be one. There we go. So when I changed my prompting strategy there and made it much more simple, I didn't tell it, hey, create a prompt that creates this thing. It goes and says as a negotiation coach, so role based prompting, provide guidance to help users with their negotiation skills. And then it goes back and forth. Now, obviously I could go back and add all those little tweaks and details from before, but generally this should give you enough to be able to go and be dangerous enough to actually test it out. And obviously if we change this to something like, make me a really good sales coach, and then you click on create, it should switch that again. And it's beautiful because so far I haven't seen a limit to how many times you can do this. So maybe it's free for now, it's gonna change later. But as of right now, it's a good time to maybe stock up on all your agent needs and all your prompting needs because it does a really good job of getting you most of the way there. And all you have to do is just kind of go back and forth until you get to your definition of perfection. If you love content like this, please sub and like the video and I'll see you guys next time.